stand, please, as we introduce the Watertown Police Color Guard to post the colors. It is truly a pleasure and a special honor to welcome all of you to Perkins School for the Blind. This is our 181st year of service. We have the honor to serve individuals in every one of the cities and towns across our great commonwealth, around the country, and in 65 countries around the world. I am here um, not just in my official capacity, but because my friend is being sworn in today. This is my friend. This is someone whom I admire for her grace, her tenacity, her sense of justice. And we have in this Attorney General someone to be enormously proud of, who lifts us up as citizens of this Commonwealth. What better role model could there be for young women looking to make their way and gain a foothold in the crowded and sometimes muddy field of Massachusetts public service and politics? Martha has led and pursued excellence in every phase of her public service career. She broke the glass ceiling, becoming the first woman in Massachusetts to become Attorney General. And when faced with setbacks, she rallies like no other. We're so fortunate to be celebrating a lady who I consider to be the finest Attorney General in the United States, and that's Martha Coakley. She's been a staunch advocate for the people of our state, giving a voice to the voiceless and fighting for those who need it most. I, I, Martha Coakley, do solemnly affirm, do solemnly affirm, that I will support, that I will support, the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Congratulations. I wanted to have the inauguration here because the students at Perkins have served as an inspiration to me and to all of us in the Attorney General's office. They are not only the people for whom we fight, but the people who show us the way. They remind us that what we may take for granted, not everybody can, and what we may take for granted today, tomorrow may be different. They demonstrate lessons that we all strive to follow, that no obstacle is too great, that each day is an opportunity. And as we look forward to the next four years, we join with these students in affirming the Perkins motto that, hope you have your bracelets on, all we see is possibility. Those of us who work in government can and must be a force for a positive change, a voice for fairness, a fighter for justice for those who need it most positive steward of the public trust. Let me repeat that, a positive steward of the public trust and a counter to cynicism. Let me close with two quotes, one from a former student here at Perkins, Helen Keller. She said, although the world is full of suffering, it is also full of the overcoming of it. Also, let us reflect on the words of Archbishop Romero, gunned down while celebrating Mass in El Salvador in 1980. He said, we cannot do everything, but we can do something, and we can do it very well. We will work together to build that better tomorrow. Thank you. To have Martha bring us all back here uh, to remind us of the importance of Perkins on her special day, and to be able to think about the vast array of bold, innovative, imaginative things that Perkins is doing. Well, I'm a former student here at Perkins School for the Blind, and as, as a commissioner, I do much of my work with the blind community, so it was very appropriate for me to be here at Perkins. It always is very heartwarming for me to come back here uh, to be at Perkins and to know that Martha Coakley and the Attorney General's office always has at the forefront of their mind the civil rights of people with disabilities.